following opinions are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Hi, it's Captain Will, BoatTest.com. Today we're going to take a full inspection of a Yellowfin 26 Hybrid. Let's hop on board and take a look. First, let's check out the test results in smooth bay conditions with a 6 mile per hour wind. The Yellowfin 26 Hybrid has a length overall of 26 feet, a beam of 8 feet 8 inches, 18 inches of draft, and 20 degrees dead rise at the transom. With a dry weight of 5,900 pounds, our test weight with two people on board, 118 gallons of fuel, 25 gallons of water, 50 pounds of equipment, and optional upper helm station was recorded at 7,506 pounds. Matched to a pair of Evinrude E-Tech G2 200 HOs, turning Evinrude RX4 four blade stainless steel props, we hit a top speed of 62.5 miles per hour at 5,500 RPMs, burning 34.3 miles per gallon, giving us a range of 292 miles. We found best cruise to be at 3,000 RPMs and 29.7 miles per hour, which reduced our fuel burn to 9.7 gallons per hour offering an increased range of 490 miles. The Evinrude G2 engines got the Yellowfin 26 Hybrid up and on plane in 3.9 seconds. We hit 20 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds and reached the 30 mile per hour mark in 6.5 seconds. While smooth conditions allowed for us to test the full response and handling of the Elephant 26 Hybrid, we were not able to test this crossover center console offering in any significant seat condition. However, the vacuum bag, proprietary single stepped hull design allowed a glimpse of our open water capabilities when navigating larger wakes throughout the bay testing grounds. Maintaining Yellowfin Yacht's tradition of acute hull performance, the 26 Hybrid did not disappoint when leaning into sweeping and tight turns. We ran the 26 Hybrid along shallow sandbar edges and over the flats while testing her ability to quickly settle off plane. Much to the delight of those wishing to choose an all-around fishing platform, she truly represents the performance of an offshore vessel complete with shallow draft bay boat qualities. Remaining at the helm station, tilt steering, two 12-inch monitors, 7-inch icon touchscreen for the engines, trim tabs and lighted switches, VHF and throttle controls complement the spacious console surface. Steering duties are performed from the comfort of an upholstered leaning post complete with integrated live well space, two rod holders, and easy access dual battery storage. Handrails, side rod holders, and rocket launchers above complement the rigid T-top. Raising the console's forward seating reveals space to accommodate a step-down head and gear storage, a meticulous wiring scheme, house battery capacity, and wood laminate flooring highlight Yellowfin's commitment to fit and finish of the 26 Hybrid. The fishability features of the Yellowfin 26 Hybrid begin with its forward casting deck. Anglers are greeted and assisted by padded combing bolsters, recessed handrails, and an ideal deck to gunnel height of 28 inches for added support when fighting and landing both deep and shallow water game fish. Gemlux, flush mounted cleats, and pop-up bow light, lock and lift anchor locker allow for a clean bow surface area. Liberal index storage and lengthy ventilated under the gunnel compartments are ideal for storing personal flotation devices, which round out her forward features. Moving midship, starboard and port side tackle storage grace the undersides of the 10 inch radius to radius walk around textured cap deck surface. Opening towards center and evenly positioned with the sides of the console, the compartments do offer impressive organizational space for an array of tackle yet could be somewhat cumbersome to access for someone larger than average in stature. After the helm is typically where all the action happens and Yellowfin has incorporated functionality and a flair of compromise when designing this area. Cushion jump seats measuring 6 feet 6 inches in width complement the entire transom, offering a comfortable sitting area while underway making way or simply resting after a big fish catch. Underneath the port and starboard jump seats are two insulated coolers for food and beverage. Access to the bilge, live well, and raw water pumps is located underneath the center section of the jump seat feature. We would like to have seen the access lid to the bilge compartment open wider 
to accommodate quick and easier access to this critical area of the vessel. Large insulated and plumbed in-deck fish boxes are to both sides of an auxiliary 25-gallon live well, serving as a bonus to the 26 hybrid large volume 50-gallon live well built into the aft area of the leaning post. Perfect for those days when an assortment of baits are needed for fish catching success and another reminder of Yellowfin's commitment to constructing a true crossover fishing machine. Located directly above the deck draining channels are port and starboard under the gunnel bracketed storage designed for landing equipment, cleaning accessories, and fishing rods allows for tidy organization while a freshwater washdown hose ensures the cockpit stays rinsed and clean. In our opinion, the Elephant 26 Hybrid represents an outstanding crossover option, possessing excellent offshore, nearshore, and inshore fishing and family boating capabilities. We were impressed with their well thought out design, materials, standard features, and attention to fit and finish details. Well that concludes our full inspection of the Elephant 26 Hybrid. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Will.